Well, this Mundo Perdido certainly isn't a Jurassic Park. Hello and welcome to Intoxicated Masculinity. If it's Wednesday, we have a cocktail video coming at you. Uh, today we're going back to Martin and Rebecca Kate and Smuggler's Cove. Uh, this time we're doing the Mundo Perdido, otherwise known as the Lost World. Um, as with a lot of the cocktails in this book, this is an, uh, a particularly old cocktail. It doesn't have a lot of history, but I think it's based on the ingredients. I think it looks kind of interesting. Um, created by Jeff Barry in 2009 for Smuggler's Cove. Um, since we don't have a lot to talk about in this one, um, let's just get in right, right into making it. All right, so in this one, first off, we're going to start off with our syrups. So in this case, we are going to do a quarter of an ounce of a rich Demerar syrup. And we are going to do a quarter of an ounce of a cinnamon syrup. Now, I want to do just a quick note on syrups. Um, don't let these things scare you off. I mean, all syrups are is sugar, water, and some kind of a flavoring. If it's a simple syrup, then it's just sugar and water. Uh, so in this case, our Demerara syrup is just a Demerara sugar, uh, and it is a uh, two to two parts sugar to one part water. So this is going to be, that's what they call it, a rich syrup. Uh, and this is going to be a cinnamon simple syrup. So we're just putting our cinnamon sticks in there. Uh, with our simple as we're making it to infuse it with the flavor and I put a few cinnamon sticks in there as well. All right next we're going to go with uh, as for an apple brandy I'm going to go ahead and go for apple jack and we're just going to do half an ounce of our apple jack. As with most tiki we're going to add a citrus in this case it's going to be lemon juice and we are going to go for uh, three quarters of an ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice. Now this is for an ounce and a half of rum. I'm gonna do goslings in this case, but I'm gonna split it up. So I'm gonna do one ounce of our regular goslings. And then I'm gonna to toss in a half an ounce of our overproof just to kinda of bump it up a notch. All right, let's go ahead and toss that in the shaker. So we're gonna go ahead and toss that into our ice, get a nice conceal, and then give that a good shake. All right, just wait till you get a nice good uh, frost all over your shaker. Let's go ahead and crack that thing open. In this case, we're going to double strain this into a coupe glass. And here we go. All right. And there we have our Mundo Perdido. Let's see how it tastes. That's got a really interesting flavor profile. I can't quite place it exactly. There's an element that, so you're not getting the apple from the Applejack sort of directly on the palate exactly, um, but it definitely comes in. It almost seems like the apple and the cinnamon are kind of combining and giving you just kind of a separate element to the cocktail. Cause you're getting your rum and you're getting your citrus on there. And obviously your Demerara is bringing in the sweetness this is good, it's different. Um, this isn't sort of your typical uh, tiki cocktail. Um, it has a little bit different of a flavor profile. Like, like I said, I think the cinnamon and the apple are kind of mixing together. I mean, I understand this cocktail, of course things are gonna mix together. Um, but I'm not getting a real separation between the apple and the cinnamon. They just kind of, they're kind of, uh, and I mean, that's that's sort of very reasonable thing because you know, th those flavors work, cinnamon and, and apple work very, work very well together. I don't think it's working against our sweetness, but it definitely is creating kind of a second level to the cocktail. I like this, but I feel like this could be a little bit divisive as to whether or not you do or not. Um, it's a little dry. Um, 
It's definitely not over sweet. You might even go up to half an ounce or, or include, so right now we've got about a half an ounce of total simple syrup in there between our, our cinnamon and our demerara. You might even be okay to up that just a little bit. Maybe do three quarters of an ounce. I wouldn't do a full ounce necessarily, but if you have a sweet tooth, maybe. Yeah, this is a really interesting cocktail. Again, there's kind of multiple levels to it. Um, on, on the initial palate, you're getting your sweet, your rum, your, your citrus, your sort of traditional tiki flavors, and then right beneath that, you got your apple cinnamon. So this is definitely an interesting one. I would recommend trying it out. And on that bombshell, uh, down below comment, tell me what you if you've tried this cocktail or how many you might uh, alter this, if you would like it more sweet, more dry, or what are the drinks you like. And on that note, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Have a good drink, and have a good day. starts but then later there's running and, and screaming <laughs>